A very interesting mandala painting is is a Vajra Bhairava, the Vajra Bhairava mandala, and it comes to us from uh, Buryatia. So Buryatia is um, really a kind of Mongolian people um, in uh, southern Siberia on the border with, uh, with Outer Mongolia. Now this painting is really interesting because what we have is we have these two um, concentric circles, but in the middle and the two concentric circles, first of all, are, are showing us an overview. We're looking down on top of the, the mandala. But when we look inside of the two concentric circles, then we find we're looking at a side view of the actual palace of Vajrabhairava. And they've really simplified it. They've only put a, a few uh, objects inside, and they've put a Vajrabhairava, but a Heruka Vajrabhairava, one face, two arms, and then on either side are uh, 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 vases, and then they placed a couple of Siddha figures, and I'm not even sure what that is supposed to mean, because if, unless unless they're meant to just be outside and in the cemeteries, which aren't aren't actually shown, we have no eight great cemeteries here. We do have a lot of ornamentation for the palace, and the palace appears to only have two floors. It has staircases, and it has uh, the colors for the four directions and the, and the four Buddha families of the directions. Amoga City Green in the north, uh, uh, the, the Akshobia in uh, Orvairochana for, for the east side, depending on who's at the center of the mandala. Ratna Sambhava for the south side, and these are these are imagined as uh, vajras sticking out of the base of this uh, uh, palace structure. Now these these sort of uh, partial vajras sticking out that that's not always the case. Yes, you can see them um, in three dimensional mandalas sometimes in metal repousse three dimensional mandalas, but often they can just be flat because they don't actually exist in this way in the visualization. It, there, there's a lot of um, uh, artistic and mental gymnastics that go into trying to depict these mandalas in two-dimensional and, and partial three-dimensional form. Also, you'll see between the two concentric rings, there's little circles with uh, little, little Tibetan uh, uh, syllables or, or letters written in there. And that actually represents the, the um, protector deities, the, uh, the outer protector deities. And uh, also we have uh, uh, a protector uh, wheel where at the very top of the composition and the bottom you can see where there, it looks like a weapon wheel, like the blade of a weapon wheel at the bottom and the top. Now, what's even more curious about this painting is below the palace we have this imagined tetrahedron. We have this three, it's actually four-sided, but one side is open. The top side is open, and, and you can see inside the tetrahedron is red, the outside of the tetrahedron is white, and then there's a kind of a, a vine-like lotus, and then it creates the lotus base for the palace. Now this tetrahedron, this represents emptiness, and everything we see in this composition is actually coming out of this uh, uh, three-sided tetrahedron, which represents the three original types of emptiness. Uh, so the tetrahedron is trying to be three-dimensional. The palace we're seeing from the side, the concentric circles we're looking from the top. So it's a very unusual, very imaginative, very creative, um, and uh, highly educational uh, painting of a, of a mandala because it, it shows us aspects that we don't uh, otherwise see when we're just looking down from the top. Just an introduction. So press the like button, like button. you can subscribe, and then you can... Um, you can donate to HAR. You can donate on the HAR homepage. There's a big donate button. If you want to donate on a monthly basis, you can go to HAR on Patreon. We offer longer videos. We offer uh, unpublished essays. And uh, we also will uh, um, take suggestions for uh, 
other videos and other uh, uh, subjects and essays and uh, questions, we take the questions on Patreon first. So, thank you for watching.